The Canadian Pension Plan, aka the CPP, has just seen some important changes. So today, I'll share with you what are these modifications and how they will impact the retirement of many Canadians. Every year, the CPP makes small adjustments to the annual limits and the contribution rate. But for 2024, on January 1st, the CPP will be adding a second tier for higher incomes in the Pension Plan, as we will see later on. But first, let's quickly recap what the CPP is. The Canada Pension Plan is a social insurance plan that is found by the contributions of employees, employer, and self-employed people, as well as the revenue earned on the CPP investments. So it is a federal plan where we all contribute and pull our money together during our working age. And once we'll retire, we will have the right to receive our cuts of this investment. However, keep in mind that if you live in Quebec, you'll have instead to pay for the QPP or the Quebec Pension Plan, which is pretty much the same as the CPP. On your side, if you want to be eligible to receive the benefits of this program, you must be at least 60 years old and have made at least one contribution to the CPP. Usually, the standard age to start receiving this pension is 65. However, keep in mind that you can start receiving this pension as soon as you reach 60 years old or as late as 70 years old. And obviously, the longer you wait, the bigger your pension will be. Also, keep in mind that you can continue to work and still receive this pension. For instance, as for 2023, the maximum monthly amount that you could receive from your pension if you started to earn it at 65 years old is about $1,306 per month. But as of June 2023, the average amount of pension plan received by people that started to receive it at 65 years old is about $772 per month. And so your personal situation will determine how much money will you receive at your retirement from this pension plan. However, how much do you need to pay per year for the CPP? Well, the good news is that the situation has stayed unchanged for the first $3,500 that you earn, where you'll need to pay $0 of CPP contribution. However, for anything above $3,500, you'll contribute 5.95% in CPP contributions up to a certain limit. Limit. In 2023, this limit was fixed to $3,754, and in 2024, it has rose to $3,867.50. Nevertheless, the beauty of this pension plan is that your employer will need to set aside the same amount of money than you will have contributed. It means that on your side, in 2024, if you contribute to the maximum annual limit of $3,867.50, the total contribution limit that you will have will be about $7,735. And in fact, to be able to reach this limit, you'll need to earn at least $68 thousand dollars or more for the year of 2024. This type of income will be considered as the maximum annual pensionable earnings. It means that once you reach this threshold, your CPP deductions will stop and this will at the same time increase your total income that you will receive on your paychecks. However, in 2024, the situation will become quite different with the coming of a second ceiling. Now, the additional annual maximum pensionable earnings will be fixed to 73 $3,200 of income, where on your side you'll be paying an additional 4% of CPP on the difference between this amount and the limit of the first ceiling, which was fixed to $68,500. This would represent an additional maximum amount of $188 that you would be paying of more, as well as the same contribution from your employer. And it is predicted that in 2025, the maximum annual contribution limit for the second ceiling will be fixed at $388 to a maximum annual pensionable earnings of about $79,400 of income. But when we come back to the situation for 2024, it means that when we combine the two tiers together, the maximum CPP contribution limit will be fixed to $4,055.50 for the year. However, this is in the case where you are an employee and that you also have an employer that will pay the same thing for you. 
But when you are self-employed, the situation is quite different. In fact, when you are self-employed, it means that you are at the same time the employee and the employer. And so it means that you'll have to contribute for both the employee and the employer part, which means that in 2024, the annual maximum limit that you could pay would be about $8,111 for the year. However, even if some of you might think that this type of contribution is a form of tax, well, it isn't really that. In fact, even if you see this type of deduction on your paycheck every single two weeks, it is still used to fund your future retirement. And the beauty of it is that since your employer must do the exact same, you will receive double what you are paying for. At the same time, the contribution that you are putting in this type of program will not stay and won't grow on the long term because they are invest in other types of assets. And so it means that the longer you'll wait before to ask for it up to the limit of 70 years, it means that the bigger your pension plan will be at your retirement. Plus, it is quite normal that the CPP contributions keep increasing year after year because we've seen that over the last couple of months and over the last couple of years, the cost of living or the inflation has been through the roof. It means that you might be paying more right now, but at the end of the day, you will receive way more in the future. And so it means that the CPP, which will be an important income source for many retirees in the future, needs to keep up at least with the inflation. Plus, as explained by Matt Davidson, which is a professor of mathematics and statistical science at Western University, the reason for this increase is justified by the fact that about 40% of Canadians are really worried that they are not going to have nearly enough in retirement. If you want my personal opinion, on the more recent update, it is some excellent news, especially for the young workers that are not necessarily thinking and planning for their retirement at a young age. It makes that even if 6% of their total income is deducted to be invested in the CPP, well, they won't even notice it, but once they will retire, they'll be happy to have this surplus of money from this type of income. And so it is some kind of great investment that you are forced to do that will pay off in the future. However, on your side, it is also super important to start investing as soon as you can to don't depend on anyone once you'll be at your retirement. So on your side, if you're looking for the best investments that you can make in 2024, well, check out the video that's going to be right over here and I will see you soon. Peace.